In this video, we're gonna take a look at an example of meal prepping versus ordering fast food to see how meal prep can drastically improve your fitness results. So if you wanna lose weight and build muscle, keep watching because this will help you understand how to make better food choices to reach your fitness goals and do it in the quickest way possible. But what's going on guys, welcome to the video. If this is your first time here, my name's David. On this channel, we talk about fitness habits and routines. Putting out a new video every week about nutrition to help you guys reach your fitness goals. So if you wanna see more of that, keep coming back so you don't miss anything. Let's jump right into an example of how meal prepping can help you make better food choices. In this example, we have two groups and in each group, we have two meals. Group number one is called the fast food group. The first meal is gonna be Chick-fil-A. We're gonna do a spicy chicken sandwich with a side of waffle fries. Meal number two for dinner, we're gonna do Chipotle. There we're gonna get a pretty standard chicken burrito with no cheese or sour cream. Group number two is called the meal prep group. Lunch and dinner, both meals are gonna be the same. We're gonna do organic chicken breast cooked over some oil with boiled sweet potato and a side of greens. I looked at the company websites, pulled some numbers, did a few calculations and came up with the following. First thing that you'll notice is the difference in calories is pretty significant. For the meal prep group, you have a little over a thousand calories for both meals compared to about 1800 in total for the fast food meals. And so that 800 calorie difference might not seem like a lot, but keep in mind, this is just two meals. This is just a typical day. Picture it like this. A pound of fat has 3,500 calories. So if you're at a surplus of 800 every day, multiply that by five days, that's 4,000. 4,000 calories means you're gaining more than a pound of fat. So in five days, right, keep in mind, this is all else being equal. I understand that, you know, there are other factors involved than just these two meals, but comparing these two, right, you're getting 800 more calories a day. That can add up. So if your goal is to lose weight and build muscle, you have to make sure that the calories are being controlled. You don't have to count them, but you have to control the calories. I did some quick calculations and got the following macros. When I put these numbers up, you're gonna notice that the percentages don't really add up and that's because of the rounding error. I'm not trying to be super precise, but just to paint a picture. Total protein is considerably higher in the meal prep. You're looking at 110 grams of solid protein compared to 89 grams, which isn't bad. Chick-fil-A and Chipotle is not bad. You still get good protein, but that is a difference, right? Look at how many extra carbs are in the fast food group. 218 grams of carbs in just those two meals compared to 89 grams of carbs in the meal prep. The increase in fat, this is an issue of ordering fast food and takeout, is through the cooking process, there's a lot of oil and sauces, breading, that's added to the food, so you can't necessarily separate that stuff from what you're eating. For most people, I don't think you gotta weigh your food and track the macros and try to hit the right percentages, but with that being said, I think it's a good idea to aim for somewhere around 40% protein, 40% carbs, and 20% fat, all as percentages of your total calories. Now, it doesn't have to be exact because in the long run, it probably won't make that big of a difference unless you're trying to stand on stage and get crazy shredded. In that case, you should do everything that it takes to win. Besides macros or calories, you're gonna have far more control over the quality of ingredients when you meal prep versus ordering fast food. I'm handpicking all these ingredients at the grocery store. That quality can't be matched. When you go to a fast food restaurant, they don't have your fitness goals in mind, right? They don't care about your overall health with the ingredients that they give you. Their job is to make tasty food at an affordable price. When you don't blast your taste buds with all that highly palatable food that food companies make to make sure that you keep coming back for more, when you take a break from that stuff, you start to appreciate the natural taste of food. I used to not like eating apples at all. But once I started eating more fruits and vegetables, I incorporated more apples into my meal prep. After a while, I really liked the taste of apples and now I eat one almost every day. And pretty much the same thing happened with vegetables. I started to appreciate the taste of food in its natural form. In the first video I posted on this channel, I talked about the 80-20 rule. And that's 80% of your food should come from planned and controlled sources. If you can hit that mark, 
over time that 20%, you can eat whatever you want. But that's really a key way to make better food choices to reach your fitness goals is finding some balance where most of your food is what you plan on eating. So I hope that example helped of breaking down meal prep versus eating fast food. So you can see just how big of a difference there is when you can consistently go either way. Not just the calories and macros, the quality of nutrition that you're putting in your body is gonna have a big effect for the long run. So that is it for the video, you guys. Thanks for watching and until next time, see ya.